All right, let's get started. Man, I don't need anything. Oh, excuse me, sorry. I was reading this book here. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is po Professor Oak, and everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before we get any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. This world is inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Now why don't you tell me a little about yourself? Are you a boy or a girl? Would you please tell me? I am a boy. So you're a boy then? Yes. Please tell me your name. Well, I will go with my name. Which will be... Kevin. That is correct. Kevin, are you ready? Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Fun experiences, difficult experiences, there's so much waiting for you. Dreams, adventure, let's go to the world of Pokemon! I'll see you later. So, this is my room, guys. What's up is Kevoloco5. And this is Pokemon Heart Gold. Alright, let's see. You got yourself a TV. Yeah. Hey, it's a Wii. Uh, this is around the time where um, the Wii was, was out and about. Apparently, it's huge in Johto as well. You got your PC. All I, uh, all I got is one... Uh, one piece of mail. Adventure, excited, I love Pokemon. This is from Lara, apparently. Alright. So, let's get started. Let's go downstairs. Oh, it's my mother. Hi, Kevin, you're finally awake. Your friend Lyra was just here. She's playing hide and seek with her Meryl. Oh, I almost forgot. Our acquaintance, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask you. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. By the way, do you have everything you need to go out? Here's your bag of carry things. Your training card. Here you could save a record of your progress. There's, uh, these are also rather helpful. Try touching the buttons and you know what to do in no time. Well, alrighty then. So, we're walking around. All right, let's go outside. This little thing just ran into me. That was rude as hell. Uh-oh. Ooh, you in trouble? Okay then. 
Let's see, you got. Oh, oh by the way, uh, by the way, you know it's a little dark. That's because it's nighttime. Um, in this game, they have um, day and night cycles, which is based on the actual time it is. Yeah, so um, right now it's about eight o'clock where I'm at. So, uh, so as you can see, it's pretty dark. I'm just exploring. You got Lyra's house. You got some random train, uh, random people's house. Then you got. Let's see. Elm's Pokemon Lab. Who's this dude? So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. Wh what are you staring at? Dude just freaking shelved me. That was rude as hell. Oh well. Let's forget, uh, forget this fool. Alright, let's get in here. Hi, Kevin. I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon carried in Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk around with them. Just like your friend Lyra. Pokemon, uh, Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon. But walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could be something to do with how Pokemon grow and evolve. So I'm gonna give you a Pokemon. Hooray! Can you walk? Uh, can you walk beside this Pokemon outside its Pokeball to see if it brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people? The device over there has some Pokemon you can choose from. He decides to take a phone call right now. Really? Oh, it's an email. Oh yeah, I was thinking of the old game. Um. Oh hey, I got an email. Hmm. Uh, oh. Okay. Hey, listen, I have this acquaintance that people uh, call po Mr. Pokemon. That's kind of, um, okay. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Oh, he is weird for his last name being Pokemon, but uh, I digress. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. It's probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. You could go in our place, right? Can we count on you? You could choose one of the Pokemon over here. Alright, well, let's get started. As you can see, there's three po uh, three Pokemon over here. The first Pokemon is Chikorita, the grass type. Um, Chikorita is more of a defensive Pokemon for grass type. Um, it'll learn stuff like Reflect or Light Screen, and it will uh, uh, like it could take hits, but this Pokemon is kind of hard to use because most uh, uh, most of boss battles it's gonna struggle. If um, you want a challenge, I would suggest picking this. Next up, Totodile, the water type. This is more of the middle of the road choice, in my opinion. It has um, it has higher physical attack. And special attack for your typical water type. It's kind, of, uh, it's kind of bulky when it evolves, and it's pretty diverse with its move set. And I, I, I kind of like Totodile. Last is Cyndaquil, the fire type. This is I consider the most uh, the easier one to use. Like, uh, when it's fully evolved, it has the same base stats of the Charizard family. So, if you played Pokemon uh, Red, Blue, or Yellow, and 
you use Charizard, you could easily jump into using Cyndaquil, which is really great. Now, on my personal choice, I've given this, uh, like, some thought, and I will use Cyndaquil. Kevin received Cyndaquil from Professor Ohm. And give it a nickname? Um, sure, I will give it a nickname. Alright. The nickname I will go with is... Um, Actually, uh, actually a homage to, uh, a certain Let's Player, and one of his Let's Plays, um, and this is, um, uh, from, uh, Chugga Conroy, who is one of my favorite Let's Players, so I will nickname him... Corona. Oh, look, it's actually walking around with us. Yeah, that is the uh, mechanic, uh, one of the main mechanics of Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, where your lead Pokemon will actually be walking around with you. You should heal with this machine. It's so easy to use, just check the PC on my desk. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. His house is past Cherry Grove City. Go north a little past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Kevin. Oh, uh, what does this guy want? Kevin, I want you to have these to help with your task. Potions. Those are your healing items. I'll explain more of that when we go into battle. Don't hesitate to use a potion if you're, uh, you think yours is in danger. Alright, let's take a look at... Um, Corona. Corona the Cyndaquil. It's a bashful nature. And it loves to eat. Hmm. So, um, sounds like me. But I digress. Hmm. It's a neutral nature. So, um, new, uh, natures actually, um, determine what your highest stat or your lowest stat is. Neutral na uh, neutral natures, um, they're all pretty even. So, it'll be um, interesting to use. And so far, these are its only two attacks. Tackle and Leer. Alright. Let's get started. Kevin, so you picked the Cyndaquil. That's a cute Pokemon you have. When you walk with it, it will become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes, too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya. She's a little strange. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's staring at me steadfastly. Right then. 
Alright, let's go show uh, my mom over here. Oh, Kevin. That's a cute Pokemon you have. Why are you people calling it cute? I mean, sure, it's little, but... It's a pretty cool-looking Pokemon. Professor Elm must have given it to you. Oh, Professor Elm has a task for you, you say. What kind of task? So, I'm basically an errand boy. I see, so... It sounds a little difficult. But when someone makes that kind of request of you, it must be important. Oh, that's right, I completely forgot. Your pokey gear came out on the repair shop. Here you go. I received the thing. The Pokemon gear, or Poke gear, as it's often called, is what every trainer should have. Guess what? You could use the Poke gear to ma and make phone calls too. Oh, so it's basically a cell phone. And do you remember how? Yes. Just power on the Poke gear and touch the telephone button, okay? Uh Man, why you just give me a tutorial if I already know how to make this work? The names of the people you call are automatically registered. Just select one, uh, uh, one to give him or her a call. Wow, I can't believe it's so easy to make a phone call. Yeah, that's what cell phones are. Alright, well anyway, let's get started. Go outside. All right, now we're about to head out. I think we'll cut this off here in the next episode. We will go into the first route, which is, hold up, oh, Professor Ohm. Wait one second. I was trying to do an outro here and you had to ruin it. I almost completely forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. Great. First number we get is some old, uh, some dude try, uh, trying to um, and make sure we're on task. All right. So Route 29 is the first uh, is the first um, route. So in the next episode we will. Uh, tackle this and also the uh, next town All right, thank you for watching and um, see you next time people take care